Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video looking at families and households, focusing on the work of Anthony Giddens on the family. In this series on families and households, we've already looked at late and postmodern views of the family, and in this video we're going to focus specifically on the work of late modernist Anthony Giddens and his work on relationships in late modernity and how he believes that late modernity has changed our view of personal relationships and the impact they have on family life. Alongside Ulrich Beck and Zygmunt Bauman, Giddens' ideas form part of an approach that is collectively known as the individualization thesis, reflecting the changes in late modern society that focused upon people having more choice in their relationships and focusing more on their own needs and desires than those of the wider family unit. Giddens' ideas were formulated in a period of social change in the way people saw the family, with increased family diversity and the rejection of traditional values such as religion, he argued that in the period of late modernity, individuals were going through a period of change in their views on relationships. In his work, Giddens made comparisons between traditional relationships in the modern era and relationships in the era that he saw as being late modernity. He saw traditional relationships being based upon romantic love, an idealised state that was reinforced through the media that falling in love was perfect and that finding the one was a solution to all of the problems that people faced in society. This led to people believing that love should be everlasting and that love and marriage were permanent, and that once somebody had found their soulmate, they were together till death do us part. However, Giddens argued that in the late modern age, people began to reflect upon their lives more, and this led to increased conflict with partners who they did not feel were satisfying their individual needs. The idea of romantic love was being diluted according to Giddens, and relationships would fade over time, as would the idealised nature of love itself. It was no longer seen as a cure for society's ills, but rather something separate from one's own sense of self. Giddens suggested that in the late modern era, people started to consider their own position in society, what he called reflexivity. The ability to think and reflect upon one's own desires and the need to improve themselves and their social position and connections. At a time of rapid social changes, where people started to move away from the collective concerns of their families and focus more upon the self as an individual unit, as a result many of an individual's needs, career ambitions, appearance, sense of self, intellect, became compartmentalised into things that could be improved. And there was a realisation that to feel complete, people needed to have more than just a functioning family life. This led to the detachment of certain desires from family life. Sex and childbearing were separated in order to pro provide individuals with more choice in partners and greater freedom in relationships. People could have sexual relationships without the desire to form committed relationships with others, which Giddens referred to as plastic sexuality. According to Giddens, in the late modern era, romantic love and the idealisation of relationships has been replaced by confluent love, a form of relationship that exists as long as it benefits the individuals that are part of it. In a similar way to Beck's idea of a negotiated family, confluent love is based upon the condition of individual satisfaction in the interactions with your partner. It's a transaction between two individuals that will last as long as partners are benefiting from those transactions. This is in contrast to the notion of romantic love and the associations with hard work keeping a relationship alive and maintaining an everlasting love. Rather than till death do us part, it's more likely to be until it starts getting boring. Confluent love, according to Giddens, led to a change from lifelong relationships to serial monogamy. Moving from one relationship to the next to ensure that needs are satisfied and this has impacts on the structure of the family and the stability of relationships in society, something that was echoed by Beck and the risk and insecurity of late modern life. The key concept in the movement from romantic love and lifelong relationships to confluent love and serial monogamy is reflexivity. Giddens suggested that a society moved away from the enforced morality of institutions such as religion, People looked to their own morals and values in order to find meaning. People came to judge themselves and reflected upon their actions and sought out new ways for self-improvement. According to Giddens, this process is not immune to social pressures. The need to find a perfect relationship caused strain on individuals 
and ultimately impacts upon the longevity of any relationships they are in as they look for the perfect mate for them. However, for many individuals, this involves a process of forming new identities as they try to figure out who they are, and this leads to more fluid attitudes to sexuality and relationships. However, critics of Giddens would suggest that many of the ideas of reflexivity and disembeddedness in the late modern era are only suitable for those from middle classes, with working class people more likely to be still bound by the traditions such as family and religion. Work by May and Smart talk about the connectedness thesis in opposition to this. A positive of Giddens approach is that it offers explanations for the changing patterns of family life with increased levels of divorce being seen as evidence of greater individualization of the need to satisfy an individual's needs. Alongside this, the decline of marriages and the rise of cohabitation suggest that people wait to find a relationship that is perfect for them and are more likely to follow ideas of serial monogamy. So the increase in same-sex relationships is seen as evidence of the increasing fluidity of sexuality. Another concept which ties in with serial monogamy is the rise of reconstituted families, which demonstrates that people will move from one relationship to the next to meet their own individual needs. However, a criticism of Giddens' ideas are that they ignore the structural factors that shape people's behaviour. For example, social class may shape the choices that individuals have in choosing their partner. An individual's gender may impact on their ability to reflect upon their sexuality and their ethnic background will also influence the relationships that an individual has, with many other ethnic minority groups seeking the approval of their family for future partners. That concludes this Tutor to You sociology topic video on families and households, focusing on the work of Anthony Giddens on the family. Thanks for watching.